欢迎大家。Welcome to the press briefing. On stage we have、uh, Dr. Albert Al, Principal Medical and Health Officer, Communicable Disease Branch from Center of Health Protection, and Dr. Sarah Ho, Chief Manager from Hospital Authority. Dr. Al will brief us on the cases. Our friends from the media,、uh, members of the public, may I wish you、uh, all a happy new year. I'd like to report to you、uh, an update of、uh, the、uh, COVID situation in Hong Kong. As at last night, we had 29 additional confirmed cases, on、uh, number 12699 to 12727. Among the 29, 26 are、uh, carried the N1. 510Y and、uh, T478K、um, strains.、Uh, that is,、uh, is quite likely that they are、uh, Omicron cases with one、uh, with L452R from Indonesia, and for the remaining one,、uh, the、um, tests are still pending. Among them, 13 cases are symptomatic, and the remaining 16 are asymptomatic. One Uh, uh, was uh, possibly uh, um, import related.、Uh, that is the Moon Palace case, and for the remaining twenty-eight are all imported. Among the twenty-eight imported cases, one involved a forty-five male who is a cabin、uh, crew member of CX Cathay Pacific. Case number one two six nine nine. Uh, he lives in 6B of Tung Chung Lan Tao. On the 27th of February, he went from Hong Kong to Sydney and returned on the 30th. And then、uh, he was tested negative at the airport. And then uh, he uh, was uh, under quarantine、uh, at Hatland Hotel. And then、uh, on the first of、uh, January, his、uh, sample was tested positive, and symptoms appeared on the same day. The last time he was tested negative was on the twenty-sixth of December when he arrived uh, uh, on a flight from Malaysia. He was tested negative at the airport. In the past twenty-one days, he had two additional flights apart from those I mentioned on the twenty-sixth of December to Malaysia and returning on the same day, and on the nineteenth or twentieth of、uh, December to London and back. On the twenty-second, when he、uh, returned from. London on the third day,、uh, his sample was、uh, tested negative on the twenty-second of December, and during his incubation period, and、uh, that is after he returned from London, he had been to、uh, places, but、uh, we believe he was most likely、uh, to be、uh, infected during his trip to Melbourne. But to play safe, we have、uh, incorporated all places have been to after he returned uh, to uh, be.、Um, Uh, to be under a、uh, compulsory quarantine, fusion of Central Link on Lantau Island, an old bar or restaurant, O U Z O.、Uh, he had dinner there on the twenty third of December. For the remaining imported cases, twenty of them came from the Philippines. Most,、uh, with the exception of one, involved. Uh, new front domestic helpers to Hong Kong. Seven cases、uh, were on CX906 arriving on the first of January, and、uh, six out of the seven cases were front domestic helpers. They were all tested positive at the airport, and、uh, we have another thirteen cases from the Philippines、uh, arrived on the thirtieth of December from PRL300. They were all tested positive on the third day. After arrival, three cases uh, were uh, discovered at Penny's Bay's quarantine centre, and the remaining ten cases are third day sample from Cotland by Marriott Hong Kong Shanti, which is a designated hotel、uh, for a quarantine of foreign foreign domestic helpers. So there are twenty、uh, cases from PR three O O in total. The thirteen cases I just mentioned, and、uh, seven、uh, cases which、uh, were tested positive on the day of arrival at the airport. So we have remaining four cases、uh, from Canada, another one from Indonesia, and one、uh, from another country.、Uh, we have uh, one uh, import. Related local case, case number one two seven zero eight, involving a thirty-year-old. 
um, lady. Uh, family member of case number 12654. On the 27th of December together, they had lunch at Moon Palace. So when we uh, knew that there was an outbreak at this restaurant, on the 30th of December, after a family member of this patient was confirmed, then we arranged her to uh, receive quarantine at Penny Bay on the same evening, and then the sample taken on the 31st uh, was negative. So from the 1st of January, she uh, had a sore throat and she was sent to the Tumon Hospital. The sample taken at Tumon Hospital on the 1st of January uh, was um, uh, positive and the CT value was 33, and then the second sample taken uh, on the next day was uh, the CT value was 25, and uh, she uh, works at um, Sun Attire uh, Pacific, uh, Sandos Center, uh, Chun Wan. The last day of work for her was the 30th of December. 19 colleagues, uh, nine colleagues uh, have uh, been uh, considered uh, close contacts and sent to quarantine center. And uh, 20 household contacts of these closed contacts have been sent to quarantine center. Well, uh, after lunch, uh, she uh, had um, very similar activities as her family member, but if she has been to uh, additional places and they've been included uh, in our compulsory testing, uh, compulsory testing notice. Now uh, she uh, was uh, 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 HSBC Chun Wan Premium Center, uh, Fu Wan Center Chun Wan um, on the 29th of December. And then uh, she uh, also took a uh, number 689 back to Ongping. And then uh, from Tinya to Yao Oi on route number 751 on rang, um, around uh, 5 p.m. And then uh, she wrote uh, light trail number 6110 uh, from uh, Tumun Pier to Yunlong. And then we've got a case identified. Uh, that is a preliminary positive case uh, at quarantine center involving another patron of um, Moon Palace. It involves a 66-year-old female on the 27th of December, together with eight uh, family members and relatives. They had lunch there at around 12.30 uh, to 1.30 p.m. She lives in Taiwan, Block 2 of Hangfong Garden. Fifteen Street. Uh, she's a retiree and uh, during contact tracing uh, because uh, she had lunch uh, at Moon Palace on the 27th. She was considered a close contact and she was sent to Penny's uh, Bay Quarantine Center on the 31st and the sample uh, taken there was tested negative. Before she was admitted to the quarantine center on the 29th of December, because of the compulsory testing notice uh, involving uh, Moon Palace, uh, she did a test, but uh, the result was negative on the uh, 1st of January. Uh, on the 2nd of January, uh, she had coughs and sore throat, and the uh, sample was tested positive. There was a CT value of around 31 to 32. She had received two doses of Sinovac. After lunch, on the 28th of December, uh, she went to Tai Fan Tong of Tai Wai at Meitin Road. And then around 6 p.m. of the same day, uh, she ate at Cafe de Coro of Mei Lam Estate Shopping Center. And then uh, she uh, was tested uh, negative at the Kuen Center on the 29th of December. And then uh, at noon, she had lunch at a restaurant at um, City Plaza, um, Newtown Plaza. And then uh, in the afternoon, uh, she had lunch at around 2 p.m. at a Beijing uh, restaurant. And then she uh, went to Royal uh, Ascot uh, in the afternoon because uh, she uh, had moved around to the community. All these places mentioned will be included in the compulsory testing notice. And I hope uh, people who have been to these places will uh, re receive a test as soon as possible. You some support about Moon Palace on the 30th of December when we discovered a cluster there. 
immediately we have conducted epidemiological investigation. Besides the two tables, we traced the close contacts of um, those we trace uh, those customers who have been to, who were at Mo uh, Moon Palace on the 30th of um, December, around 1 to 3 p.m. There are 22 staff members and 207 patrons. Among the 207 customers, we have successfully contacted 191 customers who are quarantined. Most of them have been tested negative at the quarantine center and 10 uh, patrons are going to be quarantined soon. We cannot trace uh, the remaining six people uh, from two other tables. To cut off potential community uh, transmission link, we are going to issue another round of compulsory testing notice to the customers. These people will be required to get a test by tomorrow. After the test, they have to notify the CHP. Once again, I urge all those who have been to, who were at Moon Palace between 1 to 3 p.m. on the 27th of December at Moon Palace to contact us at 2125-1111 or 2125-1112. That's the CHP's number. This, can pro this will protect your health and your family members' health as well as the public. And this is also um, a requirement under the compulsory testing notice. We will seriously follow up the cases uh, for uh, those who fail to do so, including issuing fixed penalty um, tickets and summons. On the 31st of December, we have issued another notice to require all those who were at um, festival walk between 1 to 5 p.m. on the same day. That is the 27th of December. These people have to be tested again on the 3rd, 8th, and 15th of January. Once again, I urge those who were at the festival walk at the um, prescribed time uh, to get tested. Now, we have uh, five cases, five confirmed cases, and one preliminary case from the Moon Palace cluster. The, third, the first three cases involve to involve um, two tables um, out, um, in the restaurants, uh, some 10 meters apart. The other two tables are located in two separate rooms. They have. Um, overlap uh, with the uh, first table. That is, uh, the, first ta the first patient uh, was seated at table A2. Case 12654 and 12708, uh, the overlapping time with the first patient is 2.20 p.m. to 2.55 p.m. From the CCTV footage, we saw these two patients uh, walk past the first patient. Case 12673 from the third table. The overlapping time with the first patient is 1.15 to 2.55 p.m. According to the CCTV footage, we found no contacts between the two groups of patients. The last case is the uh, preliminary case. The overlapping time with the first case is 1.15 to 1.30 p.m. We are still watching the CCTV footage from the day. The uh, public laboratory has conducted a gene sequencing. Two cases, that is uh, 12637 and 12654, the gene sequencing is 100% identical with the first case, that is 12611. We believe that the other two cases were infected at the restaurant. We have collected 42 environmental samples, all tested negative, including samples from the restaurants, toilets, toilets in the mall, a table and chairs in the restaurants, as well as, well as um, location um, where staff members would touch, and also from the air filter, all negative. We have contacted EMSD colleagues to uh, assess the ventilation system. Today, once again, we visited, we visited the uh, 
Moon Palace restaurant with EMSD colleagues and gathered another 53 samples. They are still being tested. We have also recorded a preliminary case locally infected and another uh, which has epi epidemiological link with an, with an imported cases. That is a 35-year-old male. That is um, the family member of case 12676. He has not been vaccinated. 12676, the, uh, the um, origin patient, uh, a crew member. He arrived at Hong Kong uh, on the 27th of December from Los Angeles. On the 31st of December, the fifth sample, uh, he was tested positive. He displayed symptoms, he presented symptoms uh, on the 29th. This family member, this family member, uh, the preliminary positive patient, uh, he lives in Nam Namteen. Uh, the overlapping time with the patient is uh, 28th of December. On the 1st of January, he was identified as close contact and is quarantined at Panis Bay. The sample uh, collected on that day was positive, CT value 30 to 32. He has no symptoms. He works in um, room 2002, uh, an investment company in Hong Kong. We are going to trace his close contacts. He also visited some restaurants. On the 28th of December, he took bus 106 to um, a restaurant in Causeway Bay around 6.30 p.m. On the 29th of December, around 9.30 a.m., he went to um, another restaurant in uh, Chifu. On the 29th of December, 6 p.m., he went to um, Hanoi Road um, to have a uh, hot pot. On the 30th of December, around 7.30 p.m., he went to uh, Hong Fook Garden, uh, Bar Pacific, on Kings Road. On the same night, 10 p.m., he went to a uh, McDonald's uh, at uh, another McDonald's. On the 31st, he went to another cafe. That is uh, Agam uh, Lam Yang Cha Sat. These places will be included in the uh, compulsory testing notice tonight. Today, we have some uh, 40 preliminary positive cases, most of which are travelers arriving at um, the airport. There are flights uh, with more than three cases on the flight. According to the law, we are going to suspend flights from these origins. Uh, thank you. Now, um, Dr. Ho, Dr. Sarah Ho will tell us about the uh, hospital authority situation. Good afternoon. Um, a very happy new year to you. Um, I wish you all good health. Some statistics. As at 9 a.m. this morning, in the past 24 hours, the HA has reported 34 cases. For those who have tested positive uh, for COVID-19, five patients have been discharged in the past 24 hours and completed the 14-day quarantine uh, post-discharge. We still have 225 patients who have been tested negative, hosp hospitalized in our North, uh, North Land Lantau Infection Control Center, um, the XJ's Infection Control Center and the AWE facility. One patient is in serious condition. 224 are stable. The number of negative pressure beds is 1,107, occupancy rate 60%. For negative pressure wards, we have uh, 611, occupancy rate 69%. Thank you. Q&A. Before you ask a question, please uh, introduce yourself and also the organization you represent. Uh, the lady at the far back, I'm from TVB. Uh, Dr. Ao. Now, uh, the number of confirmed cases is rising. Have we got an outbreak of the fifth wave already? Now, for the compulsory um, uh, testing notice, more places are included, and six uh, people have yet to be uh, Track down. Does that mean that uh, some of the places they've been to are missing and uh, we can expect more? Now for uh, the patient uh, in serious condition, I think uh, that's the first uh, 
a serious um, Omicron patient. I'd like to know uh, what medication and treatment is being given to the patient. Thank you. In the past uh, couple of weeks, we have seen a marked increase in the number of cases that is a fact and most of them are imported. Of course, uh, we have seen some um, uh, uh, transmission in the community. As a result of the Omicron outbreak, the uh, situation is deteriorating and in some countries uh, there are uh, more cases and even reinfection. Because of uh, the serious condition globally, for those who have been overseas and arriving in Hong Kong, now we have uh, more uh, cases among them. The percentage of arriving uh, positive cases uh, is much higher than before, and this is a case for concern. And the SL government has done its utmost uh, to stop importation of cases. We hope we'll be able to intercept all imported cases to prevent an outbreak in the community. But then, uh, some of the confirmed cases had to move around in the community, and that could possibly lead to an outbreak in the community. We've seen in the case of uh, Moon Palace that uh, there uh, were transmission in the community, so we are very vigilant. All cases that had moved around in the community uh, during the uh, infectious period uh, will see th places covered by compulsory testing notices. So if uh, you know or by means of uh, the Leave Home Safe app, you know that you've been to these places, please do receive a test ASAP. And we've also enhanced uh, the number of tests for those who have been to high-risk places uh, of, of confirmed cases from three to six. Uh, from num three, we've not included, increased that to six uh, times. Uh, from the second, third, and fourth day, we've also uh, included uh, tests on the seventh, twelfth, and nineteen cases. Hopefully, uh, even if uh, the um, virus has uh, been transmitted to people in the community. We can identify them as soon as possible because the incubation period can be uh, longer, and so we have increased the frequency of testing and lengthened it until the 19th day. As regards uh, the number of places are uh, under the compulsory testing notices, yes, uh, they are rising because. Uh, these imported cases have been uh, moving around in the community, so we will pay more attention. When we do contact tracing, we'll try to uh, find out where they've been to as far as possible, so that places they've visited will be included in the testing notices. Uh, case number 12548, uh, so far the case is in a serious condition. Uh, is now being treated in uh, HA's infection control center. Uh, he has no, uh, the case is no fever, but he has uh, to be on oxygen. Next, uh, the uh, journalist in black in the front. Uh, good afternoon, I'm from Hong Kong 01. Uh, I'd like to ask about uh, foreign domestic helpers arriving from the Philippines. Now on PR300, we have 10 cases, and yesterday, there were three from 5J272. We have more than a dozen or so, and they were all identified during quarantine uh, at a courtyard of Marriott Hotel in Sha Tin. Can you route the possibility of an infection uh, while uh, quarantine, uh, during quarantine, and do you know uh, the um, distribution of the rooms they're staying in. Uh, has there been uh, more cases in the Philippines? Is there a need to cohort to uh, the arrival of foreign domestic helpers from the Philippines? Now for uh, the Maroon, uh, for the Moon Palace cluster, you still have six uh, more close contacts to be identified. I'd like to know uh, whether you can use uh, their credit card payment uh, records to track them down. And then there is an other restaurant 
uh, two uh, Japanese restaurants nearby, and the two shops are next to one another. And they go, they're included in the same, they are served by the same washrooms, but they have not been included in the uh, compulsory testing notice. Is that a loophole? And uh, can you, um, do you have an idea about the uh, number of patrons and close contact in this uh, Japanese restaurant? Now, for imported cases from the Philippines, we have uh, recently got two uh, flights from the Philippines carrying a large number of uh, confirmed cases. On this uh, flight, TR. PR300, there were 20 cases arriving on the 30th of December. They were identified at the uh, temporary quarantine, uh, temp temporary specimen collection center at the airport. And some of them were sent to Penny Space Quarantine Center and some uh, to uh, Marriott uh, Courtyard Hotel in Shatin. And uh, 13 more cases were identified. Three uh, were identified while they were um, at uh, Penny's Base Quarantine Center, and the remaining at uh, Marriott Courtyard, uh, Shatin. Now, on the uh, fourth floor, on the 28th floor, there were four cases. On the 29th floor, six cases. They arrived on the same flight, and they took the same coach to uh, Courtyard Marriott Hotel in Shatin. And uh, they were um, assigned to different floors, and they may have uh, uh, adjoining rooms or rooms uh, next to one another. It might be possible that they had contact with a common source in the Philippines, or they might uh, be infected while on plane or and. The airport, uh, because uh, they were tested positive on the third day. If we look at the CT value, it seems that uh, it was not uh, it was not not so likely that they were infected at Kota uh, Marriott in Shatin. Another flight uh, is five J two seven two, which arrived on the twenty ninth of December. 11 cases have been identified from this flight so far. Among them, three were identified um, at the airport upon arrival. The remaining eight cases, well, one, uh, because uh, one was a close contact of a confirmed case, so uh, the, sample, the sample was tested positive at uh, Penis Bay Quarantine Center, and then for the remaining seven, uh, three or uh, four uh, were tested positive on the fourth uh, day sample, and the remaining they uh, stayed at Courtyard by Marriott Hong Kong Shatin. As I said, uh, this hotel is a designated quarantine facility for foreign domestic helpers. So uh, for those from the Philippines, they either uh, stay at Courtyard by Merit Hong Kong Shatin or at Penny Bay's Quarantine Center. We um, do not s we we um, don't consider that there is an outbreak at Courtyard by Merit Hong Kong Shatin, but because uh, there were so many cases uh, identified on the same day, we are worried that uh, there might be transmissions to other. Um, uh, hotel guests or staff. So we have increased the frequency of testing for uh, guests staying uh, on the same floors. So they will be tested in the coming week on a daily basis. And uh, we've also uh, requested the staff members to be tested on a daily basis. Uh, it's not because uh, there is an outbreak at this hotel, but it's just to play safe because uh, there was a spate of cases identified at the hotel. Uh, it could be possible that uh, the environment could be contaminated and other people can be infected. So we want to identify these cases as soon as possible, should there be any. And as for Moon Palace, on the 30th of uh, December, on the evening, we visited the place together with EMSD. We know that the, whole, the restaurant was uh, joined to another Japanese restaurant. Uh, there was an open door between the two restaurants. However, they have entirely different entrances. 
and uh, we also gathered that uh, the two restaurants are served by two different staffs and uh, there is no contact between the uh, patrons as well. And yes, they are served by the same washrooms. We have identified uh, cases who had not used the uh, washrooms of the two restaurants. Rather, they used uh, toilets of the shopping mall. And uh, we checked, we took environmental samples of, uh, from the uh, washrooms of uh, the washrooms and they were all negative. And EMS also checked the uh, ventilation. It's found uh, that the uh, direction of airflow was from Mar from the Japanese restaurant to uh, Moon Palace. So uh, the uh, restaurant, the customers are from there are not considered close contact to a place safe on the 28th. And the 31st of December, we issued a compulsory testing notice for those uh, who have been to Festival Walk in between the f um, 1 to 5 p.m., including those who have been to uh, the Japanese restaurant, uh, will have to uh, be tested. And we have arranged uh, for uh, staff to be tested more frequently. There are no cases have been identified so far. Let's take an English question from SCMP News. May I just check again how many contacts in terms of the Moon Palace clusters and also like the other close contacts uh, of these diners have been sent to uh, quarantine so far? And are authorities worried that there are enough quarantine facilities for these close contacts as they continue to, you know, find more, you know, uh, do more contact uh, tracing and find more cases? And my second question is on the Moon Palace cluster. With six diners unable to be tracked by the authorities so far, is this something that is you know worrying about? And will there be any legal consequences of sort if you know these people don't um, come up? Thank you. For the first question, thank you for all your question. Uh, for the uh, contact chasing uh, related to the uh, Moon Palace uh, outbreak, uh, we have classified all patrons or customers and staff uh, who has stayed inside this restaurant uh, from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. on the 27th of December as close contest. So far, uh, we, uh, there, uh, according to the information from the restaurant, uh, there are 207 uh, customers and 22 staff. All the staff has, have been sent to quarantine center and they were tested negative at least once. And among the 207 customers, we have success, successfully identified 191 uh, customers, and they were arranged to be sent to Penny Base Quarantine Center, and about 10 close uh, customers are being arranged to, to be sent to quarantine, uh, quarantine center within today. And there were six customers with no in contact information. And we have appealed to the general public that if they have been present at the restaurant uh, from 1 to 3 p.m., uh, they have to call our hotline uh, so that we can uh, uh, arrange them to be tested and also to be quarantined. And we will issue another compulsory testing notice for this restaurant today and those who have been present in uh, in this restaurant need to be tested tomorrow and also they have to report the results to the Center for Whole Health Protection uh, by dining our hotline 2125-1111 or 2125-1122 and in order to uh, to, to, to have testing. Uh, if they do not comply with the compulsory testing notice, we will uh, take legal actions against them. For the, other, for the cases detected uh, in, among customers and also uh, among customers of this uh, outbreak, we have also, apart from the customers and staff of this restaurant, we have also identified uh, their co uh, other close contacts, including household members, family members, male friends, uh, co-workers, colleagues, etc., and send them to quarantine center. So far, there are over 100 
uh, other close contacts being sent to quarantine center, and they will be tested or has been tested negative. Uh, the government will closely monitor the capacity uh, and also the, cap uh, the capacity of the quarantine facilities in Hong Kong, and we are uh, keeping a review of the uh, of of the number of rooms available in quarantine centers. And at that at this at the present moment, uh, there is enough uh, rooms in plenty plenty space for close contacts. But we will closely monitor the situation because there there uh, there might be a sudden upsurge in the number of close contacts. Let's take another English question. English question. So um, for today's case related to the Moon Palace cluster, um, how possibly has she been affected, uh, infected? And also um, for the six people that the authorities cannot uh, track down, um, are there any things that you can do or you can just wait for them to show up? Like how can you prosecute diners who cannot be reached out? And also the third question is, um, is uneven a ventilation in Moon Palace restaurant common in other restaurants too. So how should restaurants improve their ventilation? Thank you. May I know which organization uh, you're from? RTHK, thank Thanks. you. Regarding the first, for the first question, regarding the mode of tra uh, transmission in this outbreak, we are still investigating. We have taken a environmental sample, and so far, uh, two samples taken were tested negative. Uh, at, uh, at this moment, we have uh, taken additional environmental swaps uh, from, uh, in particular, from the uh, filters of the uh, ventilation systems to see if there is any hint uh, to pinpoint the exact mode of transmission. Um, as I have mentioned, uh, among the four affected tables, two were separate, two were in the, in, in the open area, in the outside of the restaurant, and they are separated by a distance of about 10 meters. And while the other two tables are in two different side rooms inside the restaurant, and review, preliminary review of the CCTV uh, did not uh, reveal any face-to-face -face direct contact between the uh, other cases and the index case. Uh, there are two possibilities for the uh, outbreak to occur. First, it is uh, due to short-range airborne transmission. Uh, as the index, uh, he might be infectious during this meal. He has taken off his mask. So when he breathes out the air, uh, it, the air may uh, contain the virus-laden particles, which will spread to the uh, among the restaurant due to the unsatisfactory ventilation. This is one of the possibility. But if uh, there is short-range airborne transmission, we will expect there will be more and more uh, more uh, more cases uh, than we have observed so far. But of course, uh, that some of the cases, some of the customers who have been quarantined were tested once only. So we will arrange all of them to be tested again to see actually how many cases are pre uh, have occurred uh, among the customers uh, in this lunch. Another possibility is not through the air, but through the uh, environment or uh, contaminated objects. This is also a possibility. So we have taken additional environmental swaps from the items which might be touched by the customers and also the staff, for example, the, uh, the, water, uh, the water port, etc., so that uh, we can see whether this is a likely transmission route. And our investigation is ongoing. And for the ventilations in food premises, I understand that the Food and Environmental Hygiene Department, they have formed a working group and also issued the guidelines to the food premises and also restaurants for them to follow uh, so that uh, they will have adequate air change, at least six uh, air change per hour, and also uh, they need to install air, uh, air purifiers inside the food premises. Uh, I think the FDA Food and Environmental Hygiene Departments will follow up and also will uh, take actions to see uh, if the, the other restaurants or food premises in Hong Kong comply with the uh, guideline. Uh, 
And for the six cases which uh, with no contact information, uh, our staff in the contact tracing office, they will review the CCTV in the mall uh, to, in order to identify the uh, whereabouts and also uh, to, we will see whether we can uh, trace them according to the autobus record or uh, other credit card records, etc. Next question, this gentleman wearing glasses. I'm from AM730. You mentioned that six patrons have yet to be uh, tracked down. I'd like to know their table numbers. Uh, with the, was the information uh, involving uh, these patrons? Now, you mentioned uh, two tables in uh, two rooms with other tables in the same rooms, and you uh, Asked uh, these uh, six patrons to inform you after they've been tested. Uh, is there any um, legislation you can rely on? You talked about 30 environmental samples taken. Uh, where were they taken? You uh, included uh, uh, coaches and uh, light uh, in your compulsory testing uh, notice. What about uh, railways? And I'd like to know uh, the symptoms of uh, the uh, mail you mentioned. Now, uh, we have uh, possibly import-related cases, so would you still say that we have zero confirm, local confirmed cases? Now, for the table numbers of uh, the six uh, cases or six patrons to be uh, tracked down, I don't have information with me. We're still trying to uh, trace them. We've taken 53 environmental samples. Well, uh, we uh, concentrated on uh, places uh, where staff and uh, customers might uh, contact with uh, tables and chairs and washrooms today, uh, teapots, cups, and other uh, services that they might have touched. And we're still thinking whether uh, the, the transmission was airborne, because if, uh, if so, we could, we might be able to identify um, uh, the uh, residues of viruses at the air filters. So we will take down the air, filter, air filters and take environmental swabs to see uh, whether we can find DNA, RNA of uh, COVID virus. Now for a public transport, Compulsory testing notices would uh, really uh, would usually cover uh, public buses and minibuses uh, because uh, uh, the um, uh, situation is enclosed with uh, poor ventilation, and uh, people would usually uh, know public transport they have been on during a certain period of time. It, uh, these are places where p people can uh, easily be more easily be aware that they have been uh, together with confirmed cases. And as for uh, the case involving a uh, North Point, uh, is asymptomatic. Now these cases are considered imported cases. For all cases, we would first look at the source. Now for case with for cases uh, where no source can be confirmed then they are local cases so far we don't have uh, these cases uh, for the past couple of weeks many of the cases uh, were possibly import related cases they might be close contacts of imported cases or they might uh, be working in very high risk cases such as uh, airport uh, where they uh, might um, be in contact with uh, arriving passengers. And then uh, we have uh, also seen uh, cases with identical um, uh, gene sequencing of uh, viruses. And so they are regarded as imported cases or import-related cases. Speaker was off mic under uh, 
CAP 599J, we have issued a compulsory testing notice. Uh, that is, these uh, people must uh, uh, receive a test if it is found in the future that they have not complied with the test, then we will take legal action and prosecute them. Speaker was off mic. We will issue another compulsory testing notice again. It will be gazetted and we will list out all the requirements. Speaker was off mic. For the two rooms, uh, one had only one table. The pre preliminary positive case uh, was in the table uh, seating nine with only one table in a room, and uh, nine were dining together, and one uh, is now a preliminary positive case. We'll check the CCTV where to see whether he had walked out from the room and whether there was any contact between himself and also the index patient. And another uh, preliminary positive case is a lady living in Maoishan. Uh, the room had three tables, and she was uh, uh, at one of the tables. Now, TV. For the six customers you have yet to uh, track down, uh, did they eat together at the same table or at different tables? Are they uh, in the uh, dining hall or inside room? Can you tell us the distribution of tables with infected cases? I'd like to know whether the uh, center has ever used the Leave Home Safe app to track down customers that you cannot contact yet? And have you got successful cases of using the Leave Home Safe app to uh, find these uh, people for quarantine? And how do you assess the risk of an outbreak in the community? Now, because Omicron is a highly transmissible uh, strain, is it necessary to take preemptive measures and put in place uh, more stringent uh, infection control measures, such as a suspension of classes? Now, these uh, six cases involve two tables. I don't have the table number with me now. Now, I'd like to appeal to uh, people who have been to uh, Moon Palace to contact us as soon as possible. They can call our hotline. We will also issue a compulsory testing notice. While we do not have any uh, contact information, we will uh, see CCTV records again. We know uh, that there are two tables, and we will use uh, CCTV records to uh, check where they went to um, after leaving the restaurant, if um, uh, they have uh, bought anything using an octopus, uh, for instance, or if uh, they uh, um, bought a train afterwards, then we can check their CCTV records on octopus records. So may I appeal to these uh, six customers once again, everyone, anyone who has been to uh, Moon Palace, if you have yet to contact us, please uh, call our hotline. We have used uh, various ways and means to contact these people. We're able to uh, track down 190 odd out of 207. There are various ways. At first, uh, there is a booking system operated by a restaurant. They have phone numbers left, so we were able to call them. Uh, we have uh, appealed to customers to call us as soon as possible. Many cases are called our hotline, and we were able to contact them. Now, for uh, some elderly persons, uh, they filled out the slip and we were able to uh, contact them using the information there. And then, uh, because uh, we have issued a compulsory testing notice, some of them uh, received a notification through their Leave Home Safe app, and some of them contacted us afterwards. The remaining six cannot be contacted because some of them uh, settled their bills by cash, and so there was no credit card records. We've also asked the restaurant to uh, give us uh, the pay the uh, credit card uh, records. So we're able to successfully track down many of the customers. Now, uh, as regards our assessment, we will say that the outbreak of Omicron is very high in Hong Kong because we have many arriving passengers and their risk of being affected uh, is very high because of um, the Omicron situation globally.
So uh, if uh, they're in Hong Kong, we hope they will be able to uh, identify them uh, through testing at our airport, at hotels, and very frequent testings. We hope to find them as soon as possible. But of course, uh, there uh, might be uh, some of them um, not caught. Uh, perhaps they are uh, exempted persons, or they may be member of uh, uh, air crew cabin. So uh, there may be possible of uh, airborne transmission. And so uh, if there are confirmed cases uh, in the community during the infectious period, this is worry. I appeal to the public to pay attention to our compulsory testing notice issued daily. And for high-risk groups, they do should not be just tested once, or rather on the 2nd, the 4th, the 6th, the 7th, the 12th, and the 19th, 12th and 19th day. We've also stepped up measures. Some countries are uh, included under the enhanced surveillance list. So on the first four days uh, of arrival, these people have uh, to be quarantined at Penny's Base Quarantine Center because the risk is highest uh, during the first four days. The incubation period of Omicron is uh, shorter, so we hope they'll be able uh, to identify possible cases at PBQC to um, lower the risk for our hotels. And we've also enhanced uh, the frequency of testing at uh, hotels. Uh, so they have to be tested daily on the first seven days. Of course, we have some transmission in the community, so the risk is real. Members of the public have to um, stay vigilant, including um, wear a mask, um, maintain hand hygiene, and avoid crowded places. If you have any symptoms, you should see a doctor and get tested. Next question, the lady over there. I'm from Mingpao Daily. First, the 66-year-old female customer um, who has been tested preliminary positive in her room, um, she got infected in, in the room in the restaurants. So how far away um, is that table from the index patient? And how many family members had she um, eaten with? The two cases, 12634 and the 12708, they walked past the index patients in Moon Palace. Did these two patients wear a mask? How did they get infected? The two preliminary positive cases today, they have been to different restaurants in the community. So um, how high a risk do you think we have? The preliminary positive 66-year-old female, the table is um, 101, table 101. The table is located inside a room. There is only one table. The other three tables, one uh, where the um, lady who lives in Mao Shan um, uh, sat, and that's also inside the table. There are two other tables outside the restaurant. One is um, in the corner, and one is um, towards the left of the, uh, the, the right of the entrance. The EMSD colleagues find that the air ventilation is not satisfactory. The air change is 5.5 times per hour. However, for the areas of those two tables, as well as one of the rooms, that is um, the table where the Mao Shan lady um, sat at, the air ventilation is only two times per hour. It may explain the poor air ventilation. The two other tables outside the restaurant are 10 meters apart. From CCTV footage, we, find, we found that um, Cases 12654 and uh, 12708, when they entered the restaurants, they walked past the index patients. They had their mask on because they were just um, walking in. Next question, the lady with a white cap. Good afternoon. I have three questions. Now we have um, a local outbreak at Moon Palace. The origin is um, the Cathay aircrew members who flouted the um, 
isolation rule after arrival at Hong Kong. Will there be legal consequences for the air crew member? This is not the first time a Cathay Pacific air crew member um, flouted isolation rule. As the major shareholder of the um, cafe, would the government um, do something about it? Now we um, have heard criticism that leave home sh the Leave Home Safe app um, does not have the function to trace uh, cases. So will the government uh, improve the uh, Leave Home Safe app to plug the loophole? Um, you may answer me in Cantonese. Thank you for your questions. About the quarantine exemption for cafe air crew members, since we have infections from the company, the THB has been liaising with the cafe airline to improve the situation. Last week, air crew members arriving in Hong Kong are required to stay at quarantine hotels for the first three days until they have a negative test result on the third day. And then, in view of um, cases, cases surfacing after the third day, the THB tightened the requirements to seven days quarantine. All air crew members, including pilots and uh, cabin crew, of passenger flights and cargo flights upon arrival at Hong Kong after testing negative in the airport. They have to be quarantined for seven days in hotel until they have a negative test result. This will greatly reduce the risk of community infection brought about by air crew members. The THP will continue to work with CAFE we hope that cafe um, employees would follow the government's um, requirements. For the remaining six customers, they have used, they are using the Leave Home Safe app. I think they have received the message. However, we have no way to contact them, so they are still out of reach. Yet we don't see. Um, many new cases are surfacing yet. The government would review the functions of Leap Home Safe app uh, regularly in order to make the app more efficient for um, the CHP's uh, tracing work. Two final questions. The gentleman in green. I'm from RDHK. About the Moon Palace confirmed cases, there is a table where um, no overlapping time can be identified. So what do you think the transmission route is? Now about the um, uh, publication, the announcement of cases. Several days ago, um, you would you changed the, um, the name from um, confirmed cases to asymptomatic cases. Well, it seems to give the perception that we have um, fewer cases, but actually um, there is a, um, a lack. Is that um, your intention? So maybe I wasn't clear enough. Um, the three other tables did overlap with the table where the index patient um, was. From CCTV footage, we found that case 12654 and 12708, when they entered the restaurant, they walked past the table of the index patient. The other table, um, table 95 um, of case 12673, there was also a overlap, an overlapping time. The index patient was in the restaurant um, and um, when um, the patient was there. However, we did not see um, the patients walking past um, the index patient. 
we are still reviewing the CCTV footage um, as we speak. As I've answered in English, there are two possible routes of transmission. First, short range airborne transmission. That can explain patients who have been infected despite um, having no face-to-face -face contact um, with the index patients. It may be uh, through airborne transmission. The second possible route is contamination of items like teapots and uh, cups. The germs, uh, the virus uh, might have been transmitted um, via staff members. We know the restaurant has um, uh, bossa or staff members who clean, who clean up the table. They would not touch the food. There are also staff members who would fill up uh, teapots and cups. So they might have um, taken the teapots to fill them up and then put them back. If the cup is contaminated, then virus may be transmitted to another table via the um, the buser. There are guidelines in place and the buses and the um, staff members would clean the hand after serving a table. Still, we are waiting for the test results of uh, environmental samples and gene sequencing, and we will also review the CCTV. Last question. Um, from HKET. Now, uh, for the index patient, that is uh, um, a crew um, member at Moon Palace and also an other air crew um, member, then uh, gene sequencing are just the same. So uh, who is actually the indexed patient? And you said that 10 are still waiting uh, to be sent to a quarantine center. What are the uh, hurdles? How come they're not yet in a quarantine center? Do you still have enough capacity in your quarantine center to deal with uh, so many close contacts? And uh, in uh, this cluster, all people have uh, received um, vaccination, and you're going to introduce a vaccine bubble for restaurants. So is that uh, uh, vaccine bubble really useful because uh, people are still infected after vaccination? And uh, for um, the uh, Leave Home Safe app, uh, you have a tracking uh, function now. When uh, you started with uh, filling out of a form, the uh, department was able to contact customers using phone numbers given on the uh, slip. So, isn't it this more effective than uh, the leave home safe? And do you have the room numbers of uh, the foreign domestic helpers living in Kota by Marriott Hong Kong Shantin? You talked about enhanced the frequency of testing. Uh, how many hotel rooms and also guests are involved? Have some of the guests left the hotel and returned to the community? So after uh, two doses of vaccines, the uh, number of um, antibodies will drop gradually. So uh, what will, uh, would there be a, a, a period after vaccination when uh, you regard a person as having not been vaccinated at all? Um, uh, to answer uh, your question, 12609 arrived from New York on the 24th of December. On the 25th, he went to the place of uh, case number 12611. They had a gathering. Their gene sequencing uh, was identical, but for 12611 is an air crew member. She arrived, uh, he, the case arrived from Chicago on the 25th of November. While they had the same gene sequencing, we could not uh, confirm that uh, case 12611 was infected on the 25th because Omicron 
has just uh, started. So even if uh, two cases are not epi epidemiologically linked, the gene sequencing may just be the same. We have had important cases in the past uh, from uh, two different uh, cases uh, from two different places uh, with no uh, epidemiological link yet or uh, the sequence the gene sequencing was just the same they but they were identified at the airport so f as far as omicron is concerned it's hard for us to confirm because uh, after both cases came back from the united states and they uh, were uh, tested positive on the fifth day. So we regard them as important cases. But then the Moon Palace cluster was for sure caused by 12611. Uh, how come 10 close contacts are waiting uh, to uh, be uh, arranged uh, to go to a quarantine center? Because uh, they did not leave any phone number, and we had to use uh, credit card information from banks or card companies to uh, uh, get contact information. So uh, this morning we contacted them and they are uh, being arranged uh, to go to the quarantine center. So far we still have capacity uh, at um, PBQC to house arriving passengers and also close contacts. However, we have to closely monitor the situation because before the Chinese New Year, we will see an increase in uh, arriving passengers, in particularly those from very high-risk countries. And uh, because of, in order to intercept the transmission chains, there may be an search of close contacts. I understand that the government has got a fallback plan and they are uh, planning what to do should uh, our quarantine centers run out of capacity. And as for vaccine bab bubbles, according to scientific evidence, after two doses of vaccines, uh, uh, two doses of vaccines is uh, very effective in um, fighting an infection or uh, lessening the symptoms. So uh, vaccination is still very useful. And for the vaccine bubble, I believe the government will make appropriate arrangement using um, scientific evidence and scientific data. And as for Leave Home Safe app, the government is continuously improving the app. We very much hope that members of the public will use the app as far as possible. Because if you have used the app and you have been to high risk places or places with confirmed cases, the app will give you automatic notification. As for uh, the form, we will have to ask the uh, food premises for the forms and check the phone numbers and a notification will be much later. So we urge members of the public to use the app as far as possible if they do have it so that if you have been to high-risk places, you will receive notification in the first instance that you will have uh, to be tested. Courtyard by Marriott Hong Kong Shatin is a designated quarantine facility for foreign domestic helpers. Under the current uh, regulation, on the 3rd, 5th, 9th, 12th, 9th, and 19th day, they have to be tested. So all guests of the hotel will have uh, to uh, go through 21 days of quarantine and many tests in between, and they will only be allowed to uh, return to the community after they are confirmed negative. We have seen a spate of cases in this hotel in the past few days. Uh, we believe they are mainly important cases because uh, they were all identified on the third day. Uh, they were. Uh, on the 8th and the 24th and 26th floors. Because uh, there have been so many cases to enhance the monitoring, we've asked uh, the hotel to uh, increase the frequency of testing uh, for guests and staff uh, on these four, on these uh, three floors on a daily basis. Uh, we have changed uh, the uh, classification of cases because in the past uh, there were 
many asymptomatic cases and also um, repositive cases. And we did not have such a detailed breakdown in the past, uh, but now uh, we do see such a need to uh, let the public know, and we have discussed with experts of um, uh, hospital authority. We now have a new definition of um, positive uh, of um, repositive cases. So, for these two types of cases, confirmed and asymptomatic cases, they will be given a case number and we will announce them. The epidemiological uh, investigation and also uh, clo contact tracing work will just be the same as before. The third type is repositive cases. These are cases uh, confirmed uh, long ago with or without their knowing, and they are now repositive cases. They are no longer uh, infectious. So if uh, their clinical symptoms and test results show that they are uh, in alignment with repositive cases, then they will be classified as such. And these cases uh, no longer need any quarantine or isolation. This is just a final uh, breakdown of our work and uh, for more detailed investigation. Sorry, the speaker is not speaking for the mic. Table number, the table of the index patients uh, is table A2. Case one, two, uh, I mean the patients who lives in Twin Moon. The table number is 93. The lady from Maon Shan, the table number is 95. The newest preliminary confirmed case, the table number is 101. Besides the table number, can you tell us more? The preliminary case, how far was her table from the index patient? The 35-year-old male preliminary patient, and what about his family members? The, the lady who is preliminary confirmed today, as she sat at table 101, the table, is, the table was inside the room. The, table, the room is located um, at the far left and inside the restaurant. There was only one table in the room. There is a significant distance between that table and the other tables, some 20 to 30 meters or even beyond that. The preliminary case today, the close contacts, the family members of the um, air crew member, who lives in North Point, we are still conducting the gene sequencing. We have no results yet, but uh, he is a close contact of 12676, or, or 16, uh, 12676. So I think, so we think that uh, the strain is also Omicron. Sorry, the speaker is not coming through the mic. Sorry, the speaker is not coming through the mic. Number 95 is inside the room. I, uh, A2 is outside the restaurant, 20 meters apart. Is that the room next to uh, table 101? No, different. 95 is on the right-hand side, and uh, 101 uh, was in the room on the left-hand side. Sorry, speaker not coming through the mic. Would you please repeat the, repeat the question? So when should we get the third jab? About the arrangement of vaccination, the scientific committee has had a discussion based on the latest empirical data. We recommend that after uh, you should get the third jab six months after the second dose. The reason is that based on empirical um, data, in time, the antibody level and the immunity level uh, must uh, decline in time. So normally it would be six months, after which you have to get you have to get the third jab. However, we are we have more and more scientific data um, now, and may and the um, recommendation may change. 
the scientific committee will monitor the situation closely and um, have a, has a discussion in due course. Thank you. This is the end of the media briefing. Thank you.